Growing up in Africa can be very challenging. But at the same time, it's one of the most significant things that could ever happen to any one of us watching this video. Because we always have to rely on our personal abilities, our creativities, our talent, our gifts, and our ability to survive under pressure. In an atmosphere where nothing is being given to you, everything has to be built from scratch. And that has resulted to a huge creative industry. So when we talk about our music, we are so proud. What about our fashion? What about our movies? What about our extraordinary entrepreneurs who have grinded themselves from nothing to something and become millionaires and billionaires of the world? But over a period of time, we are proud to be Africans. And you're probably wondering if I'm reading this from a, a scripted note. I'm sorry to break your heart, but I'm not. Because being African has taught me this. Being African has taught me to be strong, Jones, Atlanta, to be able Georgia. to express myself um, in an extraordinary way. To to Ghana, uh, this can be scripted. It's who we are. To reconnect, this is our uh, identity. Knowing the history of to our join people, us we were stolen as we build Africa, a better Africa, uniting the, the Africans in Africa and, and the Africans in the Africa. where we come from, um, I think it's fuel for us to, to, to be inspired to achieve more and, and strive for excellence. Um, for me, it was extremely important just to know the history. Um, many of us have no clue where we come from. I mean, we have ancestry DNA, but um it doesn't really tell the whole story so to be here and learn from the people in ghana about the customs and traditions and the history of this nation um you know it's it's a part of all of us so that's why it's so important hello my name is trevon uh i can tell you the reason i came to africa uh it's been a part of my journey part of my pathway for uh, quite a few years and finally i was able to save enough money to come and so it was important to me to come back to my homeland. Beyond the year of return, um, I felt uh, a spiritual connection. Uh, thus far, being on the ground for over a week, it's been absolutely amazing. Um, some of the things that I think that we do, can do collectively is unification. Um, we are part of the human race, and we're all from Africa, all from this continent. And so, uh, first and foremost, we have to come together. We have to educate. We have to make sure that we are taking care of all of our elders and we respect one another and i think through that piece along through education through unification i think we can grow we can build hi guys how you guys doing today uh, i'm here with mr what's your name sir joseph. mr joseph. joseph my name is andy by the way so in today's video i want to, i just want to ask you right first of all where where where, where are we now uh we are currently Accra, specifically trasaco okay. but you can also say ghana generally okay so what, what do you have to say to someone who wants to move down to Ghana? Um, so basically, I think for me, the best place to be is in Ghana. Yeah. For reasons of, uh, let's say, one, it's a peaceful country. Yes. And then two, diversity in terms of culture and then religion. We always make room for Christians, Muslims, whatever your belief is. I think yeah. Ghana is the best place to come to explore. Because it's only in Ghana where probably Christians celebrate Salah more than Muslims. <laughs> and then Muslims celebrate Christmas more than more Christians. Than, yeah. That shows how diversified we are. And I think economically, yeah, people might say things are hard, but I don't believe so. Because yeah. I think it's not about how hard things are, it's yeah. about probably how you manage things here in Ghana. Because yeah. um, financially, yeah, people may say things are hard, but yes, so people are still driving their cars. Yes. People are still staying in their houses, and yes. then I'm seeing people registering new cars each year. Uh, yes. So I think if you're having financial difficulties, probably there's something you are missing. It's either you are doing the wrong thing, or there's something you are supposed to be doing that you are not doing. Do but generally, I think it's a financially, Ghana is the best place to be um, in terms of culture, tourism, trust yeah. me the food and then hmm. side side jokingly but the ladies who are very good so um, <laughs> basically in all spheres i think uh, ghana is the best place to be okay. hands down i think in africa there are only two countries ghana and the rest <laughs> so basically that's what i'll say for now so that brings me to this, my second question right what are some of the sectors that you feel like anyone that wants to come and invest in ghana can invest on um to invest business I think, sectors yes um business side i think probably um 
it depends on the person, the yeah. business model that you want to um, invest in. But yeah. I think probably you can go into agriculture. Yeah. But I think probably if you are doing something, you should do a business where basically like everybody needs your commodity. Yeah. Both the rich, the poor, the young, the old, elderly. Everyone needs your commodity and things like that. I think house and yeah. um, clothes, food. Yes. So you basically have to understand what you want to do. If you are into the money, I think probably you should go into a business whereby um, I think you can reach a larger target market. Yeah. But whatever be the case, I think if you're into agriculture, um, cosmetics, fashion, yeah. whatever thing you want to go to, I think the grounds are better for you to do whatever business you want to do. Yeah. But me personally, I think probably you understand the system first. Yeah, true. And then probably you know how things work. Then probably you can know how to do your business or whatever you want to do. But hey, anyways, Ghana is the best place to do business. Thank you very much. Okay. So I want to I want to ask you right, what was the biggest misconception misconception about Ghana that you feel like you need to correct right now and here? Um, I think no matter how dirty your water is, it still quenches fire. Yeah. Honestly, there will always be something. The misconception, even within it, there may be a little portion of truth in it. Yeah. But I think you said there's no country that hasn't have any um, issues or misconception. I yeah. think you don't only thrive by good news, you only thrive by bad news. Yeah. So some people spread bad news about Ghana only to make us more popular. Yeah. I won't say Ghana is a perfect place. We have yeah. our own nonsense. Yeah. But I think so. It doesn't change the fact that this is the best place to be. So you might hear something, there may be a little truth in it, yeah. but who cares? You still move forward as a country. That's very good to know. Sorry that I'm taking your time. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you something different. Uh, I want to ask you about uh, what do you think we can do to revive the Kwame Nkrumah and Patrice Lumumba's dream of uniting you know, a, a, a one Africa? Uh, this Kwame Nkrumah thing is very, very dicey. Yeah. I think every wish of a Ghanaian right now is to bring that man back. Yeah. Uh, his ideas, his leadership, yeah. um, as to when we will get someone like him, it's very hard. But I think um, whatever governments we've had after um, Kwame Nkrumah, they may not have performed like Kwame Nkrumah, yeah. but uh, they've done something at least. Ghana is not the same way they met it. Yes. There are roads they've uh, constructed, buildings they've made. Mm. Um, yes, we may not have someone like Kwame Nkrumah, but Individually, I think Ghana, one, we still maintain the peace he left us. Yeah. And then things may not be as it were, but at least things are moving gradually. Mostly our problem is we compare Ghana to other countries. Yeah. So we forget the little benefits that are going on in yeah, Ghana. Yeah. Because hands down, no matter how bad the economy is, I think personally there are some things we are doing very well. Yeah. That someone would wish they were like us. But one way or the other, yes, we might want to um, bring back the things of Kwame Nkrumah and then freedom and uniting Africa as a whole. Yeah. But I think one step at a time. True, and I agree with you. I completely agree with you. It's always one step at a time. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I mean, it's nice talking to you. Mm -hmm. So, let's, let's just shift uh, the, um, the attention from Ghana. If you want to move to any other African country, which African country would you want to move to? Uh, it's obvious, Nigeria. In Why? Africa country, Nigeria. I think basically there's one thing about uh, Nigeria is... Uh, Nigeria is someone... Resiliency? No, I think it's two things. If a Nigeria person is doing evil, he's doing evil. Yeah. He doesn't pretend. Mm -hmm. If he's doing good, he's doing good. Yeah. They are all out. Yeah. So if you meet one genuine Nigerian, he's a Nigerian. Yeah. Genuine. Yeah. No pretense. And then I think one thing, they are basically doing bigger things. That's not to say they are better necessarily than Ghana, but I'm yeah. saying, say, when you look at the, the music, the like Benna Boy is selling the... O2. Madison Square, Ma yeah, Madison, Madison Square, Square David Do Whiskey, and then currently Thames yeah. singing in uh, Wakanda. Yeah. That's the arts and entertainment side. Yeah. Economically, having the richest person from Nigeria for Samoa, yeah. I think, and then I've also worked with Nigerians before. Okay. So the little I've learned about them and the trend at which, the pace at which they are moving, yeah. if I'm to probably choose another nationality, I'll probably choose Nigeria. That, that Always, that, hand that, down. That's very good to know. What's your last word for my audience who are watching you right now? Um, I think basically whatever you do, I think um, I always have this belief, no matter how dirty your water is, it still quenches fire. Yeah. So wherever you do, wherever you are, there's always a good side of everything. Yeah. It's all based on you, how you see it. So basically, that's my little... Thank you advice. very much. I really appreciate it. Okay. What's your name again? Joseph. My name is Joseph. Do you have Instagram? We would like to follow you on Instagram. Uh, Instagram, I think, um, Osibisa Inc. Osibisa Inc. Basically on all the platforms, Facebook, um, Osibisa, Instagram. Can you spell it out? Osibisa, O-S-I-B-I-S-A-I-N-C, Inc. Incorporated. So okay. Osibisa Incorporated. All right. So that's my handle for... Thank all. you very much. Bro. Thank you very much. I appreciate okay. it. We'll follow you up. Thank you. That was good.
thank you for watching this video if you like to watch more of this video make sure you subscribe like and share